Welcome back to the Custom NPCs tutorial series. In this episode, we are going over the Global tab. We are not going over dialogues or quests as those will be in its own video. We also are not going over banks or transport as those will be explained in the roles and jobs video. In the factions menu, we create new factions or manipulate existing ones. I believe it is a common misconception that the only factions are aggressive, friendly, and neutral. Those are just the default ones created in every world. You can make your own factions. Click add to create a faction. At name, you change the name of the faction. The ID is the permanent number assigned to this faction. If you use a command that deals with factions, you will use the faction ID. Here you change the color of the faction. Any NPC part of this faction will also have their name set to this color. At Hidden, you toggle whether the faction can be seen in the faction status list of the player's menu, which is indicated by a banner in the player's inventory. Attack by Mobs lets you choose whether NPCs part of this faction are attacked by Minecraft mobs. At Hostile Factions, there is a list of every other faction. Clicking on a name selects it, and clicking on it again deselects it. NPCs part of this faction will consider each selected faction as hostile. Now let's go to points. The points a player has determines what their standing is with the faction. Points work like a number line. Unfriendly to neutral is the threshold across from the unfriendly standing to the neutral standing. Neutral to friendly is a threshold across from neutral to friendly. Players cannot damage NPCs that they are friendly with. NPCs who they are unfriendly with will be aggroed on sight by the player. NPCs who the player is neutral with will not be aggroed on sight, but they can be hit and will be aggroed if the player hits them. You can define those threshold values here. The points always work from unfriendly to neutral to friendly. If you set the neutral friendly threshold to be lower than the unfriendly to neutral threshold, the mod will be confused and you'll end up with weird behavior. The default value up here is the default amount of points the player has with that faction. So, with these default settings, the number line would look like this. And so, if we give the player a thousand points in this faction, the number line would move like this. If we take away 2,000 points, then it would look like this. Side note, there is no such thing as joining a faction. All you can change are the amount of points a player has with any faction. But, you can change the amount of points players have with all factions and change dialogues and quests to give the illusion of joining a faction. Lots of custom NPCs is faking it. It doesn't really matter what happens on the behind the scenes what matters is what the player sees on the front end of it. All custom NPC player information is stored in the player data menu. That includes what dialogues the player has read, the quests they have done, quests they have active, what transports are available to them, the items stored in banks and their faction points, etc, etc. Select a player from the list, then click on Quest, Dialogue, Transport, Bank, or factions to view all the data pertaining to them. You can delete them from the player data for testing purposes. For example, if you have a dialogue that can only be read before a quest is completed, you can delete that quest from the player data so that you can read the dialogue again. Or, if you have changed the default points for a faction, you have to delete the points from the player data so that it resets to the new default. You can also click on a player and just click delete to give them a full reset. The recipes feature is broken, but I'll go over it anyways, just in case it's fixed. This is where you define custom recipes. Clicking global means you are creating a recipe that can be made in crafting benches and carpentry benches, and clicking carpentry bench means you're creating recipes that can only be made in the carpentry bench. Click add to create a new recipe, and it will show up here. You can click it again later to edit it. Add items in this grid here to define your crafting recipe. 
Then here you place the item you want to be crafted. Ignore damage means that the damage value of the items placed in the recipe will be ignored. Ignore NBT means it will ignore additional NBT tags of the item in the recipe. Like, for example, ignoring custom names of items. Natural Spawns is also broken, but I will go over the menu. Natural Spawns is supposed to make NPC spawn naturally in the world like any other mob. Click Add to create a new Natural Spawn, then select it. Change the name of it here. Choose what biomes they spawn in. This slider determines the chance of the NPC spawning on a block in that biome. It compares this to all other natural spawns you have, so a natural spawn with a weighted chance of 50 is more likely to be spawned than a natural spawn with a weighted chance of 5. Clicking Select NPC will bring up the clones list. Select a clone to be naturally spawned. Type lets you choose whether the NPC spawns in light or darkness. Linked is where you create linked categories for NPCs. NPCs part of a linked category will all have the same settings and customization. If you change one NPC, you change them all. Click Add to create a link category. Click Remove to remove it. There are no settings to change here. Go to the Advanced tab video for more information. And that is most of the features of the Global tab. In the next episode, we will be going over roles and jobs.